Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be creating a Switch UI in Adobe XD from scratch and we're going to be making it function to turn off and on the Wi-Fi. Let's get into the video. Before we get started, we're going to borrow the Apple iOS status bar. So under UI kits, open that up and let's zoom in and select this. It's group 10, command C to copy it and we can close this out. And open up an iPhone document. I'm going to drag in a rectangle for my background image and make it the full width of the artboard and remove the border. I have a nice little cliff image here with some water and Adobe XD crops that in the rectangle. So now we can paste our status bar on top of that to so command V and it puts it in the same spot that we got it from which is pretty cool. Now let's create another rectangle and this is going to be where our Wi-Fi box is going to be. And that looks good. Center that up and I'm going to drag it just a bit down. There we go. Remove the border by unchecking it. And let's do a border radius of 10. So nice round on the edge there. That looks good. So we're going to have a little bar up here. So I'm going to add a divider. So grab my line tool. When this blue line shows up here, I'm going to click, hold shift so the line is straight, and go until we see another blue guide there. That just makes sure that this line is the same width as our rectangle. Let's lighten that up a bit, so let's go about, about there looks good. I'm going to copy this hex code, so Command C, and let's drag this down, there we go. T for the text tool, and I'm going to type in Wi-Fi. Let's drag that right there, make sure it's centered up, and for the fill, let's paste in that hex code we use for the divider line, and that looks good. Let's have a little question here. So, uh, would you like to turn on Wi-Fi? Question mark. Center that up and change the fill to this color here. So, paste that in and center that up to our artboard. So now we need to create our switch UI. So let's grab a rectangle, any size doesn't matter. Over here in the width and height, we're going to put in 55 and for the height, 35. Now on our circle, I'm going to click and hold shift so it stays a perfect circle. And on the width, 35 and the height, 35. So the rectangle is 35 height and the circle is 35 by 35 so that it fits in nicely like that. Select your rectangle and drag this little thing here, which is the border radius over here, and just drag it all the way in. So now we have a nice rounded edge. I'm going to select this, remove the border, and change the fill color to the same gray we've been using. And then drag in the circle and snap it to the left of our button. I'm going to increase the border size on the circle to 2 and change the fill to the same gray color as the rectangle. Select both of them by clicking on one and holding shift and clicking on the other. I'm going to center that up with Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to hold shift and grab Wi-Fi as well, and then center that up to the artboard. So that's our Switch UI created. It's pretty simple. Next, we can grab our uh, artboard by selecting the text. Actually, let's change the name of this to off. And then press Command D with the artboard selected. So select the word, Command D. And that's going to create an exact copy of our first artboard. Let's double click on this and name this on. Now let's change our text to you are using Wi-Fi, period. And now we can drag this circle over, make sure it snaps. And you can use any color for the fill. I'm going to use a nice red. Some people use blue and green. Doesn't matter. Select the circle, eyedropper, and select that for the border color. So that looks good. And since we borrowed the status bar from the iOS kit, I'm going to actually change this icon. Since when we're not using Wi-Fi, we don't actually want this here. So just click until you select it and delete it. I'm going to grab this word, hold Alt, and drag to copy it. And I'm going to put in LTE. And make sure that's evenly spaced. There we go. So that looks good. One final thing we need to do is grab this circle of the Switch UI hold shift and select the rectangle and command G to group them and do the same for this one 
And so now we can go to the prototype tab. So we grouped these together so that we can just select them. And so now if we click on the circle or the rectangle, it'll still do the same action. So I'm going to click on this blue arrow and drag to this window and change the transition to none. Do the same for the red one. Drag it over to the other window and make sure the transition is at none. So there we go. So that's looking good. Now we can click the play button with live preview. It says we have LTE. Would you like to turn on Wi-Fi? We select it. It switches over. You are now using Wi-Fi and you can see we have the Wi-Fi icon. So you guys can use this for anything. The switch can be used to change the background image, change settings, whatever you want to do. All you have to do is for every switch create two artboards. I would not recommend creating more than one switch um, that actually functions for a prototype because that can get quite a bit difficult to pull off. You can do it, but it's going to be time consuming. Um, for example, let's say we have another setting underneath this with another switch. Uh, now you have to have a window where both of them are turned on, both of them are turned off, well, one of them's turned on, and so on and so forth. It gets very difficult. Uh, this is just a simple little example of how you can use it to actually do something. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys want to leave a comment, make sure you do below. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.